Welcome to my first Let's Play, and it's Cape Story, but it's going to be commentary because this game I haven't played in a while, but I had fun with it, and I want to explain why. So Cape Story is made by a guy, uh, by one guy, in fact, which is very interesting. This, uh, the one I'm playing though is the Redux version. Or a I guess I don't know what you call it, but it's a for the PC. There's two versions for PC: the original and the one on Steam, which I'm playing right now. The Steam version got all the special details and all that. Now this game is on everything too, so if you not if you don't have a computer, you can get on the uh, 3DS and the Wii shop, I believe. And I adore this game a lot. This is why I chose to play it for my first one. We see here our uh, little hero, uh, known as Quote. Uh, that's only known because you can uh, know his name by going through a special mode, playing as a different character. That's the only time you actually know, figure out what this uh, character's name is, which is Quote. Which is a pun off of. Uh, programming keys so we see here we start off was in the beginning you see a uh, name of Kaz uh, trying to transmit to his sister uh, just, here we go again with the transmitting to the sister so yeah searching for Sue which uh, I'm gonna figure out why uh, later on uh, I think believe on the next video because I think yeah I believe this only covers two er one area of the video which I think will be like chapter one we see here we got our first weapon the polo star I say uh, it's a pretty good weapon to start off it's basically pistol now in this game uh, you see right there a little like little Dorito right there called Doritos just for fun we see that your weapons got levels. Uh, the maximum level is uh, three for each every weapon, and every weapon you get will be able to get it for the most part, I believe. Uh, I say I think there's like one, well, no, like two. I believe, yeah, two, which is uh, beneficial for not it's not uh, required to get those real things because they got special abilities that don't require them, but. Uh, we start over here with the post star, which uh, see here I try to uh, grind out some more of these so it becomes stronger. Uh, keeping your weapons uh, up, up with uh, levels are pretty important <laughs> because every time you get hit, uh, they lose a the level or uh, some energies, I guess you can say. But keep up, uh, trying not get hit and keep your weapons uh, highly uh, supplied with levels, and you're good. And plus, it doesn't have ammo, so that's a good thing. We see here, uh, Toroko. Uh, I'm gonna butcher these names. The only ones I think I can mind house for the two of those are King, which is the purple one with the scar. And we just crash into their conversation with Toroko, explaining that she's not gonna sell out, uh, Sue to King because of what's going on with the story. We're gonna find out that later, but. Hold on tight for the later videos. Uh, so we're gonna explore the village real quick. Uh, the Mi uh, Mimigas, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and another important thing: save point, save areas, and help areas. It's very important that you save your game uh, often, uh, often as possible, because you don't know how uh, tiresome it will be to uh, restart. Every time. So there's some some areas you can visit in this uh, town, going between the little uh, pathways. But sometimes they're not that important or uh, basically not that. Oh, I well, I almost forgot to explain the life capsule. So uh, life capsules upgrade health, health by three. I believe there's around I want to say sixteen around sixteen. Uh, basically, uh, the end 
Uh, basically, uh, when you towards the final boss, you get around like 50 health. That's your max for health. Uh, 55 for something else. But basically, uh, if you want to keep track, make sure you look everywhere. And uh, well, I get all the. I always get all the light castles because again, it's beneficial if you don't. If you do, I mean. Uh, which trust me, you want to get all of them. I believe uh, the 3DS version, there's two ones, the, the old one and the new one, you can get like physical, which is uh, Cave Story 3D, which I believe the Cave Story 3D is, is completely different from the one I'm playing right now, so if you're using this for a guy, uh, not very good comparison. We get here our silver charm, which is Sue was looking for. And there's a bowfish, and there it goes. I always shoot the bowfish. Why? Because. So, like I was saying about the 3D game for the 3DS, uh, I believe in the 3DS game, uh, you get more health in that version. Uh, there's some, uh, I believe, some, some area differences a bit. But I'm not completely sure. I haven't played that version. Mostly because sometimes when I beat this game for a certain uh, a certain uh, challenge, kind of leaves me at a uh, exhaustion for not playing this game again. Very. You gotta see why at the last part because because uh, there's some parts that make you make me. Uh, very tired of this game, very much. So you go to the shack after you get that silver locket, you run into Togoroko again, and just shoot her. Mean, very mean to do that, but whatever. She came with a, she came at me with a leak, what I was supposed to do. Of course you explain yourself, so explain away. Of course, uh, get some story on what what's going on in the village with Sue and King, and here comes the best character in the game, Bolog, A.K.A. Kool Aid Man with the Oh Yeah, and here comes Misery, a uh, I say one of my least favorite, mostly due to the part she's not that interesting. And here comes a case of mistaken uh, identification by tanking Toroko, thinking she was Sue. And here comes our first decision in the game that leads to many different paths, which you can fight them, or you can say no, which makes Bolog actually leaves. But that's the boring way, so we're gonna say yes and show how how you actually fight this dude. So they're pretty simple, just shoot him, try and get away from him, use that little block to your advantage to uh hop over him. It's a pretty easy fight. Uh mostly why you should do this fight is to get extra uh energy weapon weapon energy. I believe he drops. Is he that? Oh yeah, there you go. I was wondering. So with that, uh, one more thing though. I see. I remember I do this for last. They of course save because saving is important in this game. Very important, which I was very afraid to save, mostly due to the part that I was afraid I might uh, mess up the recording. But from my editing from the other parts. Because I'm doing the commentary last, I edit all of the videos, so the commentary is the last thing I need to do. And fortunately, the the audio, the videos came out all great. So yeah, so we got the little, little mushrooms which give out jack shit weapon energy, except for this slasher dude that does. You want, you want to remember this area for uh, later on in the game. It's a little gray area, but there's like a little. Wait for until we get there. Oh, and also that little guy in there, 
you as you just talk to him, there's like a little man that's uh, that's a that's important for layer two, and also that little door that's important layer for a little uh for a uh I guess you can actually I can spoil that I guess uh, for a uh, for a secret boss, which is very uh, tough to get in this game, by the way, which this uh, which is this playthrough I did, which trust me. Uh, if you're playing this for the first time, though, don't do it. Uh, you get jump on here. You get your map system. I say it's, it's somewhat useful, but maybe for the first time you're playing, the map system is useful. But for me, I don't barely use it. Uh, maybe sometimes if I make sure I'm not missing any uh, collectibles. But go going back to the secret boss thing. If you're playing this game for the first time and following what I'm doing, uh, don't. Uh, trust me. Uh, maybe on your second play, Sue, or a second save, because the secret boss for the game, I do not recommend. Uh, I'm going to explain more on when we get there, which is, I think, part 11 or 10? What? I can't remember, but yeah. So beds can you know, use to revive health. Uh, so always save, and we go on the computer screen, and we see Kaz, Ruma, or Kaz for sure, is giving us a pathway to to a uh, new era, a carrier. So uh, join me next time where we go to the carrier.